Good morning guys and welcome back to a new vlog and this is the first vlog I've done since coming back from America so this is very strange to me. I've just filmed my first main channel video since before I went away as well and it's just slowly getting back into things but I was going to try and do a weekly vlog again this week. I filmed a little like two clips, was it on Monday or was it Tuesday? It was Monday. Um, it was bank holiday Monday and I literally filmed like two or three clips maybe because me, my mum and my dad went for a walk. Basically we've been feeling super jet lagged and I've been spend I've been spending like the whole weekend just sat inside because I was just feeling crap and then we decided it's probably good to go for a walk to sort of get some fresh air and start to feel a bit better and a bit more normal so we did that. I filmed a few clips from that and then was going to start my weekly vlog when I got home but I just didn't. I've had a rough few days basically and I've just filmed a main channel video about how I'm gonna have some changes to my channel I'm going to talk about things more openly and maybe make more videos about more mental health related things more real life situation kind of things advice things that all that shenanigans I don't I won't go too much into it because I've just obviously filmed that whole video for it which will hopefully be up tomorrow which is Saturday. It's currently Friday today. I don't think I said that. That'll be up by the time you see this vlog anyway. Today I just have to go to work. I'm just walking one dog today. What time is it actually? It's like 5 to 11 so I'm gonna go out and do that soon. I just wanted to film a video quickly this morning. I might film some more today depending on time because I have lots of plans of things that I need to get done today. Obviously go to work. I also need to do some more editing from like holiday vlogs and stuff. I need to finish a work related job kind of thing which I will go on to talk to you about more in the near future if anything continues from there but yeah something worky related I also need to work on some audition stuff and some show stuff I'm in a show next weekend I have quite a few things oh <laughs> I have quite a few things that I need to do today and just it's one of those days where I'm not planning to go out anywhere unless something randomly happens it's just a lot of things I need to just go through learn a few songs that I'm still needing to do for like shows and stuff audition stuff go over that learn lines stuff bits and bobs basically that I need to finish very soon I'm getting back into the busy mental life of working and show rehearsals and auditions and it's all gonna get a bit crazy September officially starts tomorrow can we just say oh my god and it's a very busy month for me very very busy month probably going to be my busiest month of the year although December usually is December might be a bit different this year it's been very similar the past couple of years again things might change that's all work related I'll talk to you about that when it gets to it if anything does change but September's a lot of I've got a couple of parties that I'm going to, shows, work stuff, there's a lot going on. I'm going to a wedding, I'm going to Fusion Festival on Sunday, there's a lot happening. I was going to do this as a weekly vlog and then put Fusion Fest on the end depending on how much I film throughout the week but I think depend. I was going to try and film more of today if I can and maybe just upload this as today's vlog. I want to vlog Fusion Festival but I might do it separately but we'll see. It's all just playing it by ear basically. So I'm gonna turn off my ring light now because I don't really need that on but now it's gonna be really bad lighting. There you go that'll do. I need to go out to work soon. I was gonna have some breakfast. I might do that first. Just see how I get on throughout the day. I want it to be productive but we'll see. I've been struggling to be productive recently. Again that's all to do with like how I've been feeling over the past few days and that video that I've made is kind of an insight to that. I don't talk about it completely. I just basically talk about a rough idea of how I've been feeling and why I want to make these more honest videos and stuff blah 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 just watch that video if you want to know so for breakfast I'm gonna go for the same as always oh chocolate fudge cake that's not what I'm having for breakfast but there's still chocolate fudge cake left so that makes me excited I'm gonna go for my always healthy breakfast that I always go for it's great nutrition for the day chocolatey squares of any brand. I don't judge. I don't discriminate by brand. I go for the standard Crave, proper Kellogg's brand. I'll go for Aldi's version. I'll go for Morrison's version. Whoever has versions of chocolate squares, 
I'm happy. I love my chocolatey squares. As you can see, I seem to be in a pretty good mood so far today. I think it's because I've made that video this morning and I'm getting back into vlogging again and I'm excited about the future of my channel. So I'm getting a little spark back today, which is good, but I don't know how long it's gonna last because I have a lot of other things to stress about. I always put you here and the lighting's always really bad because I'm being backlit. I don't know why I did that little head thing. Chocolate squares, get your nutrition kids. Healthy breakfast, that's what it's all about. So it's quite a bit later now. I say quite a bit, it's only like a couple of hours later. I went out and went to work. I've just been doing some more worky bits, not related to that job, to something else. There's a lot going on at the moment. I've just been doing some of that and now I'm about to have some lunch. I've just got a cheese sandwich and some chicken soup, which is very exciting. And then after I've had my lunch, I'm gonna carry on with work stuff and then do all the other things I need to do. I need to edit the video I uploaded earlier, uploaded, filmed earlier. I'm gonna edit that because I won't get time to do it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm actually going down to Liverpool for a rehearsal, which is like 10 to 12. And then I don't know what's happening when we come back from that. And then on Sunday, like I said, I'm going back to Liverpool for Fusion Festival. So I'm coming home and then going back to Liverpool, which, yeah. So basically spending my weekend in Liverpool, but not staying over. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be such a good weekend. I'm so excited for Fusion. So, I said earlier on in this vlog that I wanted to start being more real with you and I was filming a main channel video about it all, so in that main channel video I talked about how obviously on my vlog channels I'm real with you and stuff and all of this and I wanted to make more honest videos blah 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 but normally I wouldn't vlog when I'm like this but I thought, you know what, I need to show just how I've been feeling this week and this has just topped it all off so I've not had a great week, I'm not going to go into details about it because again, I could make a whole separate video on all of this, really. But I said that I was doing some job related stuff and that I was, I think I said I was applying for something. Um, and it was something that was one of like my dream jobs, kind of, and something that was very important to me. And I'd spoke to my friend about it and I was getting into it and she'd helped me with the like, application stuff. And Luke helped me with loads of the application process the other day when he was here, he helped me word some things I wasn't sure how to word. And like we did it all and I was like right I'll do the last couple of bits in the morning tomorrow um I just needed to update I think it was I needed to add my CV and just put one last thing in I think it was something to do with my education so I saved it and went off it and I was like I'll complete it in the morning so I got up went to go on it and it deleted all of the information about my work experience which is all the stuff that I asked Luke for help with to like type out and stuff he didn't like completely do it for me I just said kind of what I wanted to say and he helped me word it better basically so it deleted it all and I got all stressed and upset and I was like you know what Friday I'm gonna sit there and redo it all go through everything try and remember what I wanted to say and just go for it I've just spent ages doing that rewording everything, putting everything down that I wanted to say, attaching my CV, putting all the info in, spent loads of time on it because a lot of the time that sort of thing can take me a bit longer because I really worry about my words <laughs> not sounding good enough and stuff like that. So I did all that, went to save it and it said that I required a couple more things that I'd not filled in. So I was filling those in but then it deleted all the stuff again. But luckily I had, co I had saved the things I'd written in a separate document on my laptop so I could just repaste it back into it because I didn't want the same thing to happen again and we lose everything which it did but I had everything backed up on another document so I just copied and pasted it and it was all okay and then everything was filled in so I saved it all and was ready to send it off and then all of a sudden it said something like this job has expired or something I can't remember what it said I really wish I'd 
taken a picture and saved what it said just in case I need to like contact anyone about it and tell them what happened or if, just in case it is a mistake but maybe it's not um so I was like okay I went to click back onto the application that was saved on my dashboard on my account and all the information was gone my name my address my number everything had been deleted and I was like okay what's going on so i went off it was like start from scratch go on to the website where the original job was click on the job that is still showing up on the website clicked on it pressed apply now the job posting you're looking for is expired or the position has already been filled if you are interested in one of our other opportunities please visit our career site i was like what are you kidding me so I've gone through all of that and oh, I've had a pretty rough week anyway and this has been part of it like not knowing whether to go for this new job or not and obviously I wasn't guaranteed I was going to get it but if I did get it it would affect other things and I'd have to think through what I wanted to do and stuff and things I might have to give up and I it's taken me so much courage to just send off the application if i change my mind and i get offered a job all i have to do is just say sorry i no longer want the job i just have to decline the offer or whatever i just that's all i needed to do and i'd got up the courage to do it and everything and i don't know what i'm saying now my brain is just completely fried and it was something that i was really excited about and i thought this could really change things for me and I was really looking forward to it. I hate crying on YouTube. I hate doing it. And I'd put all that effort into it. And I'd, and at the moment it's really hard for me to put so much into something. Because I've just, even the stuff I really want to do in live. It's like I can't physically bring myself to do it. And I, I really don't know how to explain it. I do need to make a video on this. It's like I've lost all motivation. Even for the things that I love. And that I'm excited and passionate about. And I thought maybe this could be the start of a new chapter for me, I guess. And that sounds really lame and really dramatic. But I thought this could be the start of some... Even if I didn't get the job. Obviously, the main goal was to get the job. But it was a good start for me. And there was... It was m more likely for me to get something like this than some of my other dream jobs that I've got that are going to take a lot more. I don't know how to explain it without telling you what it is but I'm not going to tell you what it is because maybe I will at some point but it's only just to other people it might not seem like a big deal but I think it's just I'd worked it up in my head and I'd built myself up for it and it was something that would be a good starting point for me in terms of what I want to do and I've worked on it all day and I've been stressing about it and trying to do it all week and now it's like oh it's expired or the job position's been filled i don't know it was basically for like a christmas a job over christmas but it could possibly get extended for longer it just depends i guess i'm sorry about the lighting it's just a weird time of day but it's not really what's important at the moment is it i think my mom's home i'll stress to her about it i look very red <laughs> hi guys i'm back here again and it's a lot later now as you can probably tell I've had a shower and washed my hair and the end, the last part of the vlog that I filmed ended quite abruptly. I was basically talking about what had happened with job related thing and then my mum got home so I stopped the camera and went and talked to her about it and I've calmed down now. I'm still feeling a bit low and a bit rubbish about it but I guess there's nothing I can really do. But it's 10 o'clock now so I'm going to just wind down for the rest of the night got to get up at like half six tomorrow morning to go to liverpool i'm gonna be tired <laughs> i was gonna like have a bath tonight and just try and fully relax but it got to about nine o'clock after my mom had had a bath and i was like i'm just gonna have a shower i don't want to sit in the bath i just want to have a quick shower be done with it and just come and chill in my room so that's what i did there's not really anything else to say we had a really nice chicken dinner i did edit my main channel video as well i don't know if i said that i started off today feeling quite positive like more so than i have done all week i think it's because i was vlogging vlog when i vlog it always puts me in a better mood i, I don't know what it is i think it's just pouring my 
heart out or just getting excited to do it because I love doing it it's just a mixture of things so I think that was why I was in a much better mood this morning but I'm going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment so I'm gonna sign this vlog off here for today I haven't really filmed much so I'm gonna add this on to probably tomorrow um, I don't want to put this with Fusion Fest vlog because this obviously has a bit of negative stuff in it but I don't know if I'll get to vlog anything tomorrow I'm gonna chill out before I go to sleep and I'm sorry that this vlog is a little bit on the negative side for my first one back but what can you do <laughs> I'm trying not to be so negative all the time but I also want to be real and a lot of the time at the moment I do feel a bit down, <laughs> very down actually but yeah I will see you in the next part of the vlog whether that's tomorrow or Monday or I don't even know anymore. <laughs> oh, the lighting's so bad again. It is the next day of course as you can probably tell and it is now, what time is it? Quarter past six so I didn't get to vlog anything today. Um, we went down to Liverpool early this morning and we did a couple of hours rehearsal. It ran slightly over but that was fine um, because our train wasn't till quite a bit afterwards anyway. Then we went to Weatherspoons and got some food. I love a good barbecue chicken bacon and cheese panini from Weatherspoons so I was very excited about that and it was very good. And then we went and got the train and dropped Liv off home because she had to go to work at four so I feel so sorry for her um and then Luke dropped me off back here came in for a quick drink and we just chilled out for a little bit before he went and then I came upstairs and I have just finished editing my first Disney vlog it's the vlog from downtown Disney and like the day we got to our hotel so it's not the first official like Disney park vlog but it's the first Disney vlog so that was really exciting and I'm really looking forward to editing the other ones sorry this is a really boring vlog again I just I just don't seem to be able to vlog outside of my house when I'm at home just can't do it when I'm in America it's fine because you know I feel like it just doesn't matter there but here I'm like no I can't vlog outside my house I mean I do try to and I know I can but yeah I seem to get quite a bit more nervous which I guess is normal but I feel like this vlog is going to be kind of short and kind of boring, but what else is new? I just finished editing that, waiting for it to export, and then I'm going to probably upload it and schedule it. Um, it doesn't go live till the 16th of September, which is like two weeks away. Yeah, two weeks tomorrow. Um, oh my god, tomorrow it's been a week since I uploaded my trailer video. That has gone so fast. It literally feels like I uploaded that like two days ago. This has been a really weird week for me. Um... But I'm also watching Eve Cornwell. My sister introduced me to her videos. She said to me, do you watch Eve Cornwell? And I was like, no, I don't. I've not heard of her before. So now I started watching her. Liv told me to watch one of her recent videos with Jack Edwards, who I now have started watching as well. I love them both. And I just think they're hilarious. And I really find their videos interesting, even though it's all about like uni stuff. I find it really interesting. I've never been to uni. I did do a HND course, but that was pretty local to me, so I didn't have to move away from home or anything, and that was a two-year course. But I just find it interesting, and I just really like their style of videos, and I've just been enjoying those at the moment, so I thought I'd let you know about that. Also, last night, I did not sleep well at all. I had to be up at 6.30, and I did not sleep well. I tried to go to sleep at a reasonable time, um, I feel like it was between half 10 and 11 that I originally tried to go to sleep because I was tired anyway and I was like I want to get plenty of sleep before I get up early because I won't have had an early morning for a while I'm used to having to set my alarm for like 9 just to stop me from sleeping too late because of jet lag but I don't know if it's because I mean I've had a very all over the place week anyway so my anxiety will have obviously been affected by that I did not sleep well at all I kept having weird nightmares that weren't like it was as if I was kind of half asleep. It wasn't like I was fully asleep, having like a full on nightmare. It was just continuous. Every time I nodded off again, it was like, the only way I can explain it is that, because obviously I was lying in bed, the nightmares slash weird dream things were happening lying in bed. It was me dreaming about me lying in bed, but like it was nightmares while I was there, if that makes sense. So it felt very real because I knew I was lying in bed so strange and then I'd like come out of it again and be like okay and every time I tried to fall asleep 
but every time I nodded off it happened so I had to keep myself awake for a bit and hopefully like let it all pass so I was like I know you're not really meant to but I was watching videos like YouTube on my phone I know you're meant to stay away from screens but I was just so like freaked out by it all because obviously I've had nightmares before and when you're younger you get them quite a lot but it was just really strange like I've not experienced anything like that before and it really freaked me out like I couldn't I felt like I couldn't fall asleep and once once I was awake it was as if everything scared me like because I was so on edge so I was trying to like distract myself from it and I struggled to get sleep for a while because every time I went to fall asleep I still was getting like nightmare kind of things but not fully asleep it was just I kept nodding I was, I was just like I was falling in and out of consciousness basically it was really annoying and I was so tired and then I think I think I felt asleep not long after I'd like put my phone down and tried to go to sleep then I woke up again I feel like it was between like half 12 and 1 maybe it was a bit earlier than that and I'd I felt like a little bit anxious and stressed as I'd woke up and I felt a bit not great but then after that when I started trying to get to sleep again that's when the weird dream things kept happening and I tweeted about it and a couple of people tweeted me saying how it's very normal and it's just anxiety can cause like night terrors and like yeah yeah please why why I was getting like the hot sweats and like I wasn't like overheating or anything because a lot of the time you could associate that with like being ill or something when you've got like a temperature and you start like, hallucinating and stuff but it was just like because I was anxious I was like waking up like sweating like, I was so warm um and then just kept having these little mini nightmares I guess or night terrors which is a better way to describe it I woke up at random times throughout the night I just honestly don't remember when they were I think it got to a point where the latest I was awake before I went back to sleep until my alarm, like the latest I got to before then, was probably, I think, 2am. And it just felt like it was never ending and I was like so exhausted, like I f could barely keep my eyes open but I was scared to fall asleep and even when I did it was just not fun so took a while but then I managed to get back to sleep again and I was okay until my alarm went off but I did not appreciate that alarm going off at R6 this morning after that horrific night's sleep but today was still enjoyable anyway I was worried it was going to make me so anxious all day because when I have a bad night's sleep obviously that does affect my anxiety especially when it's my anxiety that has been really bad all through the night it just affects me a lot the next day but I was okay like I felt a little bit anxious at a couple of moments but it wasn't too bad and it was a really good day I really enjoyed it and now I'm just spending the rest of the evening I've been editing obviously I don't know if I'll get to do it I don't know if I'll do any more editing I might do we'll see having a nice chilled evening and hopefully get much more sleep tonight and then tomorrow of course we're off to Fusion Festival and we don't have to get up that early to be honest I thought it was going to be a really early one I've forgotten everything about last year I couldn't remember what time we got there for what time it started what I wore like what I brought with me and all of that I don't remember I'm sure I'll figure it out I have not decided what I'm wearing yet which I'm probably going to do that in a minute as well Sean Mendes is headlining and I cannot tell you how long I've wanted to see Sean Mendes live I became a fan of him when he was just uploading his singing videos on Vine like that's a long time ago and from the first Vine I saw him I was like he's really good then he started bringing out music and I just loved it all and he did a tour like a UK tour and I didn't get tickets for it and really regretted it and now he's headlining Fusion Festival tomorrow and I'm so excited that's in Liverpool as well I can't remember if I mentioned because I was in Liverpool today and then I came home and then I'm going back to Liverpool tomorrow which is very confusing um but I'm so excited and the vamps are there as well which I forgot about until I checked the list the other day the vamps I love the vamps so much and there's people like James Arthur, Louisa Johnson, Jax Jones there's someone who used to be in Fifth Harmony as well, I cannot remember her name, but I'll show you all of that in the next vlog. Also X Factor starts tonight, I don't know what time that starts, probably about half seven, eight-ish. It's usually the time it'd start, I don't know what time is it now, half six. I don't think it'll be starting yet. 15 minutes into the X Factor and I'm, I've already cried. <laughs> if you watched it, 
on Saturday night. I don't know when this vlog's going live, but if you watched the first night of X Factor, you probably know what I mean. Um, the second guy who came on, oh my God, he just gave me all the feels. Um, but yeah, basically I've had tea and I'm watching X Factor now. Um, I'm just gonna watch this and do the kitchen, the breaks, and then I'm just gonna go straight to bed and just probably go get pretty early night because I'm absolutely exhausted. I completely forgot that Anastasia or Floral Princess, who I watch all the time, I absolutely love her. I met her at Hello World. I just love her. And I forgot that she, a while back, sorry the telly's really loud, I'm just gonna mute it a sec. Um, I forgot that she filmed, like she went to see the X Factor when they were filming the auditions and she's been in the background loads and she sat on the front row like right behind Simon so any time Simon is filmed like just Simon it's just a shot of him you can see her in the background and they've done a couple of shots of her and Harriet as well her friend who also does YouTube I've not actually watched her before I feel like I should but yeah it was just so weird seeing them in the background I'm like oh my god it's so strange um but yeah that was just another thing that I found quite exciting I forgot about it until I saw her and I was like wait is that Anastasia and then I was like oh yeah they went and watched it and I completely forgot <laughs> So the last clip of me that you saw, excuse my hair, I've just taken it down and brushed it after it being up all day and it looks a little bit mental. Um, but the last clip you saw of me was me crying again. I've cried twice in this vlog. I was watching X Factor, like I said, and at the end Robbie sang Angels with one of the contestants and that song has such an important meaning to me and I love Robbie so it's a very emotional song for me basically. Um, and I wasn't expecting it and I was not ready for it and I just sobbed but I really enjoyed X Factor tonight I haven't really watched it much over the last couple of years because I just don't think it's been as good it's kind of just gone downhill in my opinion but I decided this year I was going to try and give it a go anyway I was always really bad at watching it on time I'd always think oh, I'm not going to watch it I'll just catch up with it another day and I'd always forget to and I wouldn't know anyone in it so I'm trying to I know there will be days that I'll miss soon and there's going to be days I'm going to need to catch up because I'll be watching Strictly um, although I'm missing the first episode next week <laughs> but it's good to my friend's party so it's worth it and I can just catch up um, the next day or whenever um, actually I won't, I won't have any time the next day I'm in a show I'll catch up at some point but anyway what I was saying is I wanted to just try and properly watch it again this year give it another chance it's got Robbie in it, I love Robbie and I don't know, I feel like I might get bored of it again I don't know I just thought I'd give it another go basically and now I finished doing the kitchen everything I've come upstairs got into my pajamas I am gonna now paint my nails and then just probably go to sleep or try to try and like relax myself after not a good night's sleep last night and I'm gonna try a few new techniques to help me relax and stuff so I guess I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you enjoyed this really random vlog if you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next vlog, which will either be another holiday vlog or it will be a fusion festival vlog. Bye! I'm seeing Sean Mendes tomorrow on the vamps. I'm not ready.